Good morning. This video is for a guy named Stoner Erickson. He's a fellow woodworker who does a lot of cool stuff. So I was going to show him my blast gates because he seemed pretty interested in that. But these are the PowerTech blast gates. So the reason I bought them was because of this inner lip right here. It flares out. If you look from this side, you can see that that lip is larger than the other one. So what it does as it's drawing through, it creates a lip for it to uh, jump over that uh, slot there. So far, no issues. But after watching, I don't know, probably a couple hundred videos on, on dust collection, um, I decided to go with these um, simply because of that. And uh, all the videos that I've seen on them, they just don't leak. So we'll see over time. That is what it is. Now my dust collector over here is, well, it's a Harbor Freight unit. And then uh, I went with the uh, Dust Duffy, the Cyclone. This filter, I think it's from Douglas. Um, I'd have to uh, double check that. But yeah, so I finally got it all hooked up. Runs over to the bandsaw. And then uh, I got a couple ports that come out from underneath the uh, uh, workbench area. It all runs underneath. And then I've got a two and a half inch line that comes up here. Um, yeah, so shop's a mess. Uh, today's shop cleaning day. Been busy all weekend. Well, I've been busy for the last week working on stuff. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, well, we'll go over here. And then uh, comes up through the uh, bench there. That's going to be for my drill press. And then comes over here to my chop saw. And then I've got a line coming out here um, that I reduced down to two and a half inch to uh, run off my uh, sander here. So, But, yeah, I just got to get organized out here. It's been a long time coming. It's been a couple years I've been working on this shop. And, uh, yeah, so, anyway, here's a couple projects I've been working on. There's candle holders. I've been doing plant stands. Uh, here's a Punisher skull. Here, we'll get back on that. But here, it's actually backlit. Uh, on here, let's uh, shut some lights off. It's a little cooler like that. All right, there we go. But it has all kinds of various modes on it. That's, uh, let's see here. Straight white, red, anyway, you get the gist of it. They're pretty cool. That one's for a buddy of mine, 1776. Turn that light back on. Yeah, there we go. So, anyway, there you go. There's my shop. Um, yeah, it's messy. Got to get organized yet. So, it's been a uh, work in progress, as most shops are. <laughs> Still got drawers to build. That'll give me a lot of organization. Been looking for a solid core door for a uh, workbench that I can uh, build, which will kind of look like that when it's done. Yeah. And then for uh, audio out here, I love my old school 70s receivers because they sound fantastic. So that's that. I got an EQ up there. I uh, built them drivers or speakers. Uh, here's some subs. Built these, there's my plate amps, so I got uh, stereo subs, one left, one right. Sounds pretty good. But uh, clamp rack, if you're looking for a cheap way of uh, hanging your clamps, I just use shoving brackets. Works great, you bet. So, all right, take care, talk to you later.